And welcome to Enzyme Mental. I'm Jason Carter, and today I wanted to talk to you about one of the most versatile dietary supplements around. And I've mentioned it a few times before, especially in my video about glutathione, and that is N-acetylcysteine, or otherwise just known as NAC. So as I told you before, NAC is the primary precursor to glutathione, which itself is the most powerful antioxidant made in the body. NAC is also a rich source of sulfur, which is a critical mineral needed to make some vitamins, hormones, and also tissue. Because of its versatility, NAC is used in conventional medicine for two primary reasons. It's used in every hospital to treat acetaminophen overdose. Acetaminophen is the general medical name for Tylenol. Large amounts of acetaminophen deplete the liver's store of glutathione, which is needed to detoxify hazardous chemicals. Without glutathione, the liver itself will quickly break down. NAC restores glutathione levels and normal liver function. Hospitals often use NAC to break up mucus in the lungs and also to improve breathing. And while it's been used for years in conventional medicine, over the past several years, NAC has also become popular as a supplement. NAC is often taken to combat cold and flu symptoms. In addition to being a potent infection fighter, NAC also provides countless other physical and mental health benefits, particularly with conditions like polycystic ovary syndrome. An estimated 10% of women of childbearing age have polycystic ovary disease, or PCOS. The condition is often diagnosed while trying to identify a cause for infertility, and PCOS is characterized by enlarged cystic ovaries, high levels of male hormones, obesity, elevated insulin levels, and pre-diabetic insulin resistance. And just as NAC restores liver function after acetaminophen overdose, it also helps the body to eliminate toxic pesticides and even mercury. Doctors have noted that NAC accelerates the excretion of mercury from various organs, and in this way may be an excellent agent for enhancing methylmercury elimination for anyone who has been overly exposed. There is growing evidence that NAC may also help to reduce obsessive compulsive disorder and also addiction disorders. The theory is that NAC increases brain levels of glutamate, which is a neurotransmitter that the body converts then to gamma aminobiteric acid, or the relaxation amino acid GABA. So it's believed that NAC helps to regulate levels of serotonin and dopamine in the brain, and as I've told you many times before, both serotonin and dopamine are critical, feel-good, motivational hormones. NAC is also very beneficial to the kidneys. People undergoing angioplasty, which is a heart procedure, often have a high risk of developing kidney complications. And that's because doctors inject a mildly radioactive dye, which generates free radicals and constricts blood vessels in the kidneys. A combination of oral and intravenous administered NAC significantly reduces the risk of kidney complications after angioplasty. NAC also seems to heal existing kidney damage. So given its numerous benefits, N-acetylcysteine is certainly worth including in any dietary supplement regimen. And it's actually very safe in high doses. A standard dose for NAC is anywhere from 500 to 600 milligrams daily. And if it's around cold and flu season, you might want to double that dose. On the very first day of your cold or flu, you can actually take up to 4,000 milligrams of NAC to reduce your symptoms. For polycystic ovary symptoms, take 600 milligrams of NAC around three times daily. For those dealing with obsessive compulsive disorder, start with 600 milligrams daily and increase your dose to 3,000 milligrams daily over the course of six weeks. While there are no reported major side effects with NAC, being that it is bound to sulfur, a large dose of NAC, while perfectly safe, might possibly irritate someone's stomach. So for that reason, try taking it with some food in your stomach to offset that possible discomfort. But beyond that, NAC is extremely safe. Thanks for watching. I'm Jason Carter, and I'll see you next time on Enzyme Mental. Stay healthy.